You know, it was only a matter of time before the 12 gauge wanted in on the action here. So what we're going to start off with is what I think of as a relatively mild assault, which would be uh, a magazine tube full of uh, wax slugs. It's bird shot mixed with wax. So it's a fairly low recoil, low powder charge, and I don't think it's going to do anything to this steel over here. But let's give it a shot. Or six. I can see I'm going to have to walk over in between each shot. <laughs> this may take a minute. No deformation whatsoever. It doesn't even look like anything hit it. But I bet it would stop your heart. <laughs> It would definitely change your channel. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can do another one on it here. seen any deformation. No dimpling. Now it might be it might be bending the whole plate, but it's not dimpling. Alright, a couple more rounds here. See what it does. Well, at least I'm getting my exercise. <laughs> run a few rounds into it. We'll see. We're going to follow this up with a foster slug, so stay tuned. Oh yeah. Matter of fact, let's skip the last, the last waxer. We'll go right to the foster slugs after I set this up. We're going to put one onto it just to see. are not leaving any impression whatsoever. Let's see what 1450 feet per second and one ounce lead slug coming out of a two and three quarter. Okay, so what we're looking at now is a foster slug going into the pipe. Okay, and there you have it. Alright, now foster slug. Let's see what that We'll see what that does to it. Well, it made it ring. It said ka -ching. All right, guys. Let's take a look. I hope I didn't beat it up too bad because I still got more testing to do. You know what I mean? Got more testing to do to this thing. All right. What did we do to it? Anything? Let's look down it. Still pretty darn straight. Uh, okay, there's a slight dimple. See that little dimple right, right here? I can feel it. 
Yeah, it made a little dimple. Wow, did it shine it up or what? Isn't that a beauty? So that's a foster slug hit, guys. Wow, that really slammed it. So the only thing so far to make impressions on this are our foster slug at 30 feet and 308 at 30 feet make little dimples. But nothing, I don't think, that's going to affect my splatter mitigation tests. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim for the areas here that are unaffected. So I'll make sure I try and aim down here. And I'll get that piece of steel as tight as possible. And hopefully this little gap isn't going to make any uh, difference in the testing. Unfortunately, I don't have an infinite number of plates and splatter shields to mess with. So we just got to go with what we got. But I thought you'd find the 12 gauge testing edifying or entertaining to say